Oh hey, good morning. First time I'm picking up my camera in America. This is uh, this is taking us a bit longer than expected, but we spent a week sort of acclimatizing and just getting used to it. But today's an exciting day. We're heading off to Chattanooga. First time we're ever going to be there. We're super excited. So sit back, relax, enjoy, and let us deal with our nerves. You can call me stupid. Finally home! So welcome to our new apartment. First night in Chattanooga and we're beat. But we got went down to this place and I think Ooh. I've ordered way too much food. There's all that and there's a whole new... Open up the pizza bill. Let's see what that comes. You should use your words then. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been a look, long look, day. Look, look. Whoa! Where are you going to fit all of that? My left toe. We are going to enjoy dinner, enjoy our first night. As you can see, there's not much going on in our little flat. It's our life. We're not going to behind. Welcome to Casabawa. This is our prime blow up mattress ready for us to sleep in the This actually doesn't feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for your uh, Casa Blauer blow what? Up, what, what? Casa Blauer blow up mattress um, bedroom suite? Turn it around. It's, come lie over me. It's actually not bad. Uh -uh. And we got the built in uh, headrest over here. I'm just much shorter than you. Okay. Do your feet hang off? Nope. You can move down. I can. Alright, now to get some bedding on. And then bed. We were trying to have an early night tonight. It's now 20 past 10 and we still have a whole kitchen to unpack. Everything behind us to unpack. We're done. We'll see you in the morning. Bye. Goodbye little blow up mattress. You've been good to us. How's it been blowing up sleeping on your blow up mattress? It's been good. It hasn't been bad. Actually it hasn't been that no. bad at all. So when we arrived in Chattanooga we decided let's go and just get a blow up mattress just to keep us going for the first what day or two and it's been now uh, 10 days and it actually hasn't been that bad. This bed is actually quite comfortable but today we have to get a bed and I can't wait to have a proper mattress again. That's how you shop in, in um, the US and Almost get bit by a snake. I foresee a problem here. We just picked up our bed from Ashley's, and um, although it's packed into these little boxes, I'm not sure how I'm going to get all of this up the stairs into our apartment by myself. But you know what? Welcome to America. This is how you buy stuff here. We got our boxes up. This bed is uh, quite a heavy bed. We got it up. Thank you for your help, bear. It was I good. Died. Huh? I died. Was it really that bad? Physically died. Actually, it was terrible. Even I carried it, and we all did it for you guys. You saw us going up and down the stairs multiple times, having to set up camera and everything like that. That's what we do for you guys. But anyway, we're off to Georgia now to go and spend a little bit of Fourth of July weekend uh, with them. So we're going to take you along. If we see anything exciting, we'll worry about the camera. If not. We'll see you back here in about 24, 48 hours. What's happening? Typical Chattanooga weather. So we said we'd bring you back once. We had something exciting to show you, but we literally have just got on the road to go to Georgia. And the sun has been shining. You saw us carrying those boxes up the, up the steps. And now we're having like rain, like out of nowhere. And as you can see, it's clearing up again already. The beauty of living in Chattanooga. <laughs> Although what's going to happen now is that it's going to get really humid and we're going to continue to die. So Cape Town, enjoy it. Check this traffic though. Trucks, yep. trucks, trucks and more trucks. And these big old trucks here are the worst. You'll be scooting down the highway 
doing the speed limit and these guys will come flying past you at like 70 75 miles an hour it's insane so 75 miles an hour 120 kilometers an hour which in the grand scheme of things is not bad but when you sit and doing the speed limit and these big trucks literally fly past you and wave at you as you go past it's pretty intimidating i'm not gonna lie but as we go along i will try and get some footage of some of the bigger uh buckies and trucks and everything here to show you guys what those are all are news update everybody we got a mattress and first of all a big shout out to Bo. Bo lives on the other side here uh, he was man enough to come and offer some help when he saw Lindy and I struggling to get that thing out of the out of the back of the truck So awesome if you see this Bo, thank you very much. We appreciate you and You know, I suppose it's true what they say what goes around comes around when we picked up my mattress I helped the lady before us put her mattress into her little car and now he helped us so That's our mattress story next up. We're gonna get rid of this bad boy It was good. It was fun She did well But goodbye so bad and as part of my birthday gift I was gifted with this awesome Ryobi toolbox set which we get to play with today so the drill uh, little impact gun which is pretty cool we got a torch for when SCOM gives us load shedding oh that's right we don't get load shedding anymore uh, a little circular saw uh, and what else have we got in here? Aha, uh -huh. this is probably one of my favorites. This is one of those little, uh, you put a blade in here sideways, I don't know what you call this, but you go and you cut off all the little things, which is pretty rad. And then this, a sawzall. I cannot wait to get busy with this. I wonder if there's anything in our apartment that I can get cut in with. So while we're putting this bed together, I have a question for all of you. We've been talking about doing another episode like a podcast like we did when we broke the news that we were coming to Chattanooga. And we were wondering if you guys would be interested in maybe a weekly or every second week podcast type, type style video where we just give you an update on how things are going. We talk about America, the differences between America and South Africa, the things we love, the things we don't like, uh, the challenges that we face. I'm trying to get through it all um, and something that did cross my mind was whether we did it live we did like a live stream you guys can come in and ask questions but also we'll have some things that we're going to talk about as well so if that's something that you guys would like to see drop a comment down below let us know what you what you think whether that's something that will interest you or not interest you or you think it's an absolute waste of time and we will take that into account uh, I think it'll be quite a cool thing that instead of just you know vlogging and showing you guys around and everything like that we actually can sit and have a conversation over a cup of coffee and talk about the wins the losers the challenges that we face today has been a bitterly challenging day mm -hmm. with trying to get a car trying to get the bed trying to get the mattress trying it's just been one of those days so let us know what you think one more thing this here is the spanner that I'm having to use to tighten this bed. I don't have anything else here, and this is the rubbish that they ship with these beds. So, help me out by sharing and subscribing to our channel so that we can grow, so that we can continue doing these awesome things, and I can go and buy a proper set. And in case you didn't know, if you check in the description down below, you will find that there is a buy me a coffee link. Use it, don't use it. We've got the bed assembled, and what was supposed to happen was you've got what you call a box spring. That's supposed to sit inside there that brings basically the base for the mattress to sit up to there and then you put your mattress on. But we didn't get that, nor did the people at the mattress store tell us about it, all the people at the bed. So we ran down to Home Depot. I think we got there at like hoppers nine at night. It's crazy, like Home Depot is still open at 10 o'clock. It's fabulous. Um, so we just got some one by fours. We're going to stick those across there. There's a mattress. We're going to bring it in. And tonight, where are we sleeping? The, the blowout mattress really has not been that bad at all. Uh, it was a whole lot more comfortable than we thought, but I really cannot wait to sleep on my own proper bed for the first time in... When last did we sleep in our own bed? Our own bed? One that we own? That we own that... On the 31st... Oh, actually not the 21st. 
28th of 27th, May. 27th, 28th of May. So it's almost a month that we haven't slept in our own bed. And okay. for anybody that loves their own bed, you know it's been a struggle. We're on the 2nd of July, it's longer than a month. Oh, we're on the 2nd of July, so it's longer. It's actually five or six weeks. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> but anyway, time to pack this bed up because somebody else is... What were you saying about um, it being hard packing up in Cape Town? I said that um, we thought that that was hard. This is hard. <laughs> It, it was hard packing up in Cape Town. Not sitting on the couch is hard. Just the entire but process. getting so. to America, buying all the new stuff, replacing everything we had has been tough. Especially when you bring your rands from America at 16 and a half rand per dollar and you start buying a couch like this one on Marketplace for $300, $385. $385 doing the quick sums. Let's round it off to like six grand. For six grand in South Africa, you're going to get a much nicer couch, brand new, than what we paid for this. But on the plus side, we didn't get our bed sorted out last night. And while I was filming, I didn't realize the card ran full. So whatever we filmed is gone. But trust us, the beds are built different here in America. Another thing we didn't know. In South Africa, you get a base which was part of the bed, or you get a bed frame, and you just slap the mattress on top, and away you uh -huh. go. <laughs> here, you got to have a, what do they call it? A box spring. Call it a box spring. It's basically a frame that you put on top of your bed set, which gives you height and stability for your mattress to go on. But they sold separately. And we didn't know that. But we had a good night's rest last night. Really? That mattress cost me with sales tax, because in America things are a little different. The price you see on it's the shelf the is not the price you pay. You have to add sales tax after it. We ended up paying like a thousand two hundred bucks discounted the mattress was one thousand nine hundred dollars um but yeah slept good but you know that's just the price of setting up shop i suppose it's expensive don't let anyone tell you anything else it is expensive and we did mention in another video that if we could have shipped everything again or if we could have shipped everything and done this whole move again we would have that's on condition that somebody else was paying for the shipping. So if the company that's bringing you across offers to pay for the shipping or whatever the case is, I would 100% take it. Or if they said, hey, we'll pay the shipping or give you like, checked into the expats now, it's like $15,000 setup. With $15,000, you can get far. Um, in terms of setting up your home, you can easily put a bed in with the bedroom suite, the, the mattress, the TV, um, all of that type of jazz but obviously bringing south african rands it's been expensive for us but it's been a good journey so far the bed was good we did have a little afternoon nap uh as well so it's our first afternoon nap in um, a while <sighs> a long time and for our american viewers please explain to me why a king size pillow case goes onto a king size pillow and has all this extra bit here um we used in south africa where it's got a little sleeve here and then the pillow tucks inside and it ends very well there. I don't know why it's like that. You want to tell me why, Bear? Because the Americans do things back to France. Oops. Okay, so if you know why it's like that, please let me know in the comments below because I've got no clue and it's bugging me and I don't know where to find the answer.